In this video, you're going to see some of the craziest plumbing leaks I've seen. Flood leaks. Those are a problem we're dealing with in Texas right now. Texas is not designed for freezing weather like we've had. I woke up last week, it was negative two degrees. I've never seen that before in Dallas and I've been here my whole life. So what I want you to do is check out these videos and then stay to the end because I want you to let me know, have you ever seen anything like this before? And if so, do you have pictures and videos that you can share over on our subreddit, Roger Wakefield Post? Check this stuff out. Look at this water. Look at this water pouring down in a bathroom. Now, we're supposed to have water in the bathroom, but not flooring out of the ceiling like that. Bursting water pipes are a problem many Houstonians will be- Yeah, these PVC pipes outside in Houston are never insulated. So trust me, when you've got water pipes, when you have pool pipes, anything like that, it's gonna be bad. A certified plumber tells me you should expect to pay anywhere between $250 and $650 for repairs, depending on the size of the job. This plumber here says you can expect to pay between $250 and $600. We literally spent almost an entire day over the house the other day fixing eight leaks, and we had multiple people there. You don't always know what you're going to run into when you get there. It's impossible to tell somebody you should pay between this and this. We're so backed up right now, we are turning down 20 to 50 calls an hour. So things are crazy right now as these pipes thaw out and people start discovering they have leaks. But let's jump into the next one and, and see what we come up with here. A frozen pump line, when the when the water line freezes up in it, it's not gonna pump out very much water. <laughs> yeah, it's pressuring up though, they're gonna blow out the ice, watch this. <laughs> Look how long of a piece of ice this is, or pieces. Wow. Guys, this is not how ice is made, just so you know. Now that looks like an old poly line. Good thing is it probably expanded and contracted a little bit. I don't know if there was a break here or if they just cut it loose to try to push all the ice out. This is definitely crazy. A water line in Texas. Who'd have ever thought it? Yeah, how, how many buckets can you have? How many buckets does it take? I mean, if you look at this, you've got water completely covering the floor. It's coming down in such a broad area, you can't even put buckets under it to catch it. Now, I would have probably already moved the bed by now, but... You know, here's the thing, guys. We are not built for temperatures like this. Yeah, look at this. We've got sheetrock falling off the ceiling. We've got water lines above it that are just causing things to happen that we've never had before. Try to protect the pipes. But Marilyn and Juan Hernandez's pipes are frozen. I'm getting worried because now I've got to repair all the pipes in my home. That's going to cost us a lot of money. My pipes are empty. A lot of homeowners can fix their own plumbing. I replied to something on TikTok the other day where a young lady had a frozen valve out front. She took it apart, cleaned everything up, put it all back together. It was phenomenal. And I love seeing people fix their own stuff. This gentleman just said, look, I've got a lot of plumbing to fix in my house. And the problem is there's not enough plumbers in Texas right now to fix all these problems. So anytime there are freeze breaks like this, like I said, we're turning down 20 to 50 calls an hour. I know they're calling other plumbers. Other plumbers are doing the same thing. We've got plumbers coming in from out of state to try to give us a hand to help us do things better. It's crazy right now, but I do love to see people trying to fix their own plumbing. Mia, if you're like me, you wrapped your pipes and you thought this would be good, but your pipes can actually still freeze and cause a big mess. Yeah, guys, this is Houston. This is 200 miles further south than me and look at the freeze problems they're having. We literally can drive down the streets here in certain areas and you just see water running down the streets, going to a drain, and you can literally trace it back and see where it's coming out of houses. It really is, it, it's bad right now but it's keeping plumbers busy and what's got other plumbers coming to town to help people fix things. The city of Dallas with three times as many calls for service for water main breaks like this one in the Oak Lawn neighborhood. At the Mosaic Apartments in Uptown Dallas, too much frozen. Okay, so I want you to take a look at this picture because I actually saw this lady either posted this on Instagram or TikTok, I don't remember. Look at all the spaces, okay? Yeah. 
her car was parked under a sprinkler line that froze and actually covered her car in ice. By the time that I saw this, she had actually got inside the car. Her car did not get damaged. The back window didn't break, anything at all like that. But this is a lot of water. And imagine a break like this inside your apartment, inside your home. This could literally cause a lot of problems. In Fort Worth, a large section of West Montgomery Street put under a boil water advisory. At least 212 confirmed water main breaks citywide with an estimated 200. And this is another thing we're having to deal with. As you see, we've got water main breaks. Like I said, our infrastructure is not designed for this. My husband. That phone call yesterday from Shirley Huddleston, her husband on oxygen, needing to stay warm in their car in the driveway. You know, the bad thing is we didn't just have freeze breaks. Due to the Texas power grid, a lot of people lost power for hours. You've got people at home on oxygen. She was calling, her and her husband were actually out in the car trying to stay warm and keep him on oxygen. As it got really tough here, we've got to figure out how to fix these problems. Frozen or broken pipes, flooding and damaging their homes. KVU's Molly Oak spoke with one family trying to clean up the mess. Okay, so KVU, so now we're down in Austin. A snow day in Texas. But after coming inside to take a break, we hear like water pumping through the, the pipes and whatnot. You can actually see that one spraying right there in the ceiling. Now that's what we're seeing. Remember I told you, we stayed under freezing temperatures until I believe it was Friday. Once Friday came and, and the temperatures rose and things started thawing out, that's when our phones really started blowing up with floods. Before then they were calling saying, look, we've got a frozen pipe. If you didn't open your faucets and allow things to drip and you let pipes freeze up, this is what happened. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below if you've been through something like this, if you've had lines freeze up, or if you've got pictures or videos of anything like this, go over to my subreddit, Roger Wakefield Posts, post the pictures and videos there, and maybe they'll end up on another video here. Let's get back into a few more of these. Yeah, what I say earlier, you can't have enough buckets. There's their light fixture right above them hanging down. I walked in one up in McKinney the other day, the front chandelier is literally down in the floor now. And water and electricity don't mix. Not sure if y'all know that or not, but it's not a good thing. Okay, rule number one, shut the water off. If you're just sitting here trying to squeegee water out and it's still pouring like this, you're never gonna get caught up. You've got to shut off the water first. That's gonna help stop the damage. Out of Montgomery County, this is the line at Home Depot in Porter. The plumbing aisle is packed. For all the people doing home repairs, this is what you're gonna deal with. I've got messages from plumbers that are in the big box stores shopping, the hardware stores, and literally, they're like there are 60 to 80 people on every aisle of the plumbing. Okay, now, this is one heck of a flood here. I hadn't seen this one. Okay, so you've got a fire main there with a Victaulic joint blew apart. Guys, when it freezes, it freezes, and when it starts thawing, that pressure's going somewhere. Yeah, look at all the water coming down inside this house. Again, guys, you've got to stop the water first. Get outside, turn off the valve, make the water stop. Not outside, it's too cold. Once you, yeah, and they're saying don't go outside, it's too cold. You've got to stop that water or it's, it's never going to stop flooding. You've got to stop the water first, get things out of the way, then make the repair. Seem like it's going good. Yeah, there may be a leak here. Again, and their water pressure may be turned off because I don't hear it spraying, but look at all this water. Guys, that carpet is gone. There's not a lot you can do there. Yeah, look how much water is just all over this house. Again, we're back to the car. I gotta tell you, this one here is pretty crazy. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you actually have a busted line in a wall spraying out. Yeah, welcome to Texas, y'all. If you've ever had this problem in your home, do me a favor, let me know. And did you know how to turn the water off at your house? Oh, look at that poor baby out freezing. Yeah, I wouldn't be very happy about that. Turn it out. We're not used to that here in Texas. Turn it out that way. You don't see me? I thought that's Turn it that fucking way. Freeze, what are you looking at me now? I don't think he's very happy. God damn, Junior. Dang, Junior. You gotta get everything. You're not gonna get anything. 
That's it. I can't find the picture. We're done. Okay. Again, you hear the water running. You've got to shut the water off first. People realize that. Turn the water off. You have a leak. Turn it off. Then worry about getting everything out. I don't care. We don't care about anything. We don't need anything more. No, the, the, the house is going to fall down on us. Come on. Yeah, the sheetrock's going to fall down on you. You're right there. Courtney, come on. We can't be in there. Yeah, look at this. You see all that water? Guys, that is a line that has either got a huge burst in it, there's multiple bursts, or it's completely blown apart. Some of the problems that we found here is faulty work by plumbers. They didn't push the copper all the way in. So when it froze and expanded, it broke there. This is what it's like driving in Texas. Yeah, he's headed downhill fast. Yeah, that does not look like good. Yep, there's definitely water coming out of the ceiling. Again, guys, this isn't good. Yep, that's what it looks like, man. This is a great one right here because this is what happens. That thing holds as much water as it can till the weight builds up and then it drops out. Guys, Texas was not designed for this. I know most parts of the country aren't, but Texas, we're normally a warm state. There's a lot of problems, but do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what was the strangest one that you saw and have you ever seen anything like this before? If so, and if you've got pictures or videos, I'd love to see them over on our subreddit, Roger Wakefield Post. Send your pictures, videos over there. Let us get a look at them and see. Maybe we can bring them into a video. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.